What's up you guys? Welcome back to Alan Ryan. If you're like me, you probably have a bunch of gift cards lying around just collecting dust and you probably thought, oh, I wish I could convert these gift cards into cryptocurrency. So today I'm going to show you some of the challenges uh, one faces in living in the United States trying to convert your gift cards into cryptocurrency. Uh, follow along and let's jump right into it. And after a lot of research and doing a lot of testing on my end, the site that appears to be the most useful for converting gift cards into crypto or vice versa is called Paxful. You'll see here on Paxful.com, you can select the different gift cards or payment methods you would like to use to convert that into Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. So we're actually gonna say gift card and we're going to specifically say Visa gift card since we have this Visa gift card right here that we'd like to use to convert that into Bitcoin. So I select the Visa gift card and we can specify the amount. We're gonna use $25 and select find offers. So we haven't even logged in or anything yet, but it's going to show us what that rate would look like. And as you can see here, you are going to get upcharged for converting a gift card into Bitcoin. This is kind of the cost of doing business. And there's some special things you should pay attention to, like the buyer rating or the person that you're transacting with their rating. You should pay attention to that to make sure you're not getting a scammy individual. And you can see here how much money you would get in return. So you'd get about 85 cents to a dollar on that purchase. So if you were converting that $25 into Bitcoin, you would get about 0.85 of that into Bitcoin. Um, but that's kind of the cost of doing business. So let's go ahead and log in or essentially, I guess we're gonna have to register. So register the account first and it's going to bring us to phone number. We can actually easily change that to email, which I would prefer. So I'm going to do email and it brings us to this getting started page. We just wanna go back to Paxful.com because we kind of have an idea of what we want to do here. Now that we're logged in, I think it's gonna allow us to do that. So we want to, we want to buy Bitcoin with our Visa gift card and it's $25, so I'm gonna find offers. And you'll see the top option makes me verify my ID to buy that crypto. I'm not interested in verifying my ID at this time. So I'm gonna choose the next one down and it looks like this is fast transaction times and it appears to be a trusted individual. So we're gonna go ahead and say buy. And you'll see that I'm only gonna get about $21 of Bitcoin with my $25. And I just, I realize that's kind of the cost of doing business here. So I accept that and I'll say buy now. And interestingly, it says, you need to get your ID verified to enjoy unrestricted access to Paxful. Right now, you can still continue to buy and store crypto, but you won't be able to sell or withdraw your funds until you're, you get ID verified. So I'm not really a big fan of that. So let's see if we can find an alternative platform that doesn't have that feature. All right, so the next site I found that appears to be a true non-KYC site is HODL HODL. I like the fact that they have low fees. I like that it's no KYC. And since they don't actually hold on to your funds for you, I think that's how they're able to do the no KYC thing. Any other exchange that holds your funds in the middle is required to kind of follow along with those KYC requirements. So they have some important, uh, before you get started, some security information about how to use HODL HODL uh, appropriately without uh, kind of getting screwed over. So obviously read through this, know what you're doing, don't get scammed. Okay, so when I look for the Visa gift card and the amount that I'm looking for, $25, and I try to filter, it actually does not have any offers uh, for my search criteria. So I think I'm going to have to create my own offer. So I'm gonna click that button. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make me sign up first. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. And then of course you would have to confirm that you are not a citizen or tax resident of the US. And since many of you are US customers, I'm not gonna use HODL HODL because they just said if you're a US customer not to use their platform. So <laughs> we're gonna move on to BISC. So BISC is also a decentralized exchange network that you can download for your computer. I went ahead and already downloaded it Make sure you read through everything first before you get started. I'm gonna go ahead and test this one out to see if we can exchange our gift card on BISC. And I do like that BISC uses the Tor network to uh, keep your transactions private. Of course, I also recommend using a VPN. If you don't have a VPN, check out the link above. It's best practice to remain private, so having a VPN is ideal. 
All right, so first time having BISC open, so let's try to use our Visa gift card to get some Bitcoin and figure this whole thing out. So I want to buy Bitcoin. <clears throat> uh, it says filter by payment method. I have a Visa gift card. So let's go down and see if we can find that. And it's actually not even a possibility. It's not an option. Why? So it turns out that Visa gift card has a KYC requirement for all transactions. So if you have a Visa gift card, you're not gonna be in luck if you are from the US. All right, so we're right back here at Paxful again. You guys might be wondering why we're back here again, but in this case, we don't actually have to use KYC on Paxful to get the Bitcoin off because we're not planning to actually get the Bitcoin off. We're just gonna hold it in value on this site and then eventually later on we might decide to exchange back into a gift card or something like that. Uh, but at least this gives us an option to go and hold our funds in Bitcoin to be exposed in Bitcoin uh, if we believe in the future of Bitcoin value. So I'm still not gonna do KYC on this site, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and say buy Bitcoin. So we like to use VPN, so we're not eligible for these two guys either. So we're gonna go down here to this individual that has receipt required uh, physical card. We have the physical card right here and we'll say buy. So we're gonna pay $25. We're gonna get around $20 in Bitcoin and say buy now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uploaded the receipt, which is required um, in the instructions up here. So all I can say so far is this process is not without friction. So just be aware that this is, this is not easy to convert a gift card to Bitcoin anymore. I think it used to be easy, not, not at all anymore. So it looks like they have this escrow time that counts down for you. And if it doesn't occur within that time limit, then the transaction's nullified. Okay, so to summarize, it's not easy to exchange your gift cards for cryptocurrency, but if you are to go ahead and do this, it seems like Paxful might be a site that you can use in a non-KYC manner. Of course, if you wanna get your Bitcoin off of Paxful, you're gonna to have to upload your identity. If instead you're gonna just hold your crypto on Paxful and exchange maybe for gift cards in the future or something like that, this might be a good option for you for non-KYC sort of trades. Otherwise, other options include BISC, which it seems like BISC, you have to include your bank account or Zelle or something else, some other way that you can submit cash back to your account. And of course, I didn't have any luck with HODL HODL because I'm a US resident, um, but that might be an option for you as well. So please let me know if you have any success on any of these platforms. Drop down in the comments below your experiences. Thanks for tuning in to Alan Ryan and I'll see you next week.